Okay. And uh, <clears throat> we have uh, the options like to act. Uh, to munch to follow such kind of question might come into uh, <coughs> our situation. Emulate is a word. It's a difficult word, of course. It's not an easy word. Uh, like I told you that uh, uh, in this SAT preparation or our anti-test preparation, the choice of word matters a lot. What uh, you need to focus on is a very sound vocabulary. So uh, I, 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 I don't know if you uh, know the word or not, emulate, okay. Such kind of options will be coming to us <clears throat> where we'll have to choose one of the uh, possible solutions of the uh, word that will come into our entry test, okay. So emulate basically is a word that shows uh, uh, to, uh, you know, go into somebody's footsteps, okay. Uh, to follow somebody, to copy somebody, you have seen somebody doing something and uh, that is an example. So you want to follow that example. That is what emulate is all about. Out of uh, <clears throat> these options to follow and to act are quite similar. Always uh, you will see that uh, uh, there will be uh, one option that will be quite uh, easy to deal with. For instance, like the, the option D is to be arrogant. Okay. Emulate is a verb, okay? So uh, when you look at a word, think what kind of parts of speech it belongs to. Is it a noun or an adjective or an adverb or a verb? In most of the cases, it is noun, verb and adjectives. <clears throat> and in some cases, also some adverbs that come into our this, uh, options. So figure out first what it is. Is it a verb? If it is a verb, like, uh, to be arrogant is uh, uh, describing something that is of a uh, noun <coughs> or that is of a character, a certain character. A person, <coughs> for example, is uh, uh, the one who has such kind of, uh, you know, character. To follow, to uh, munch and to act, they are certainly starting as a verb. And in these uh, uh, three, <coughs> these two, are quite a bit quite closely following each other to follow and to act but of course there is a difference between them okay when you follow you there is an example that has been set for you so you go for that example okay but when you act there may or may not be any example you are doing it on your own okay so <clears throat> also you'll have to see that if in the choices very close relation is given of the meaning think very clearly uh, think of the distinction which is there and then uh, make your choice. Okay, that then it will be quite easy for you. Now let's see. <clears throat> 